to pick. Nothing really coming to mind here. I mean, 10 seconds left, so I, I'm wondering if they're actually just going Right now, 747's positioning himself to pick it up eventually. He's doing yeah, pretty good against the build out of him. No face shift at all. Oh, that was... Do you know what? It was bounce. It's a minor, minor lead, but it is something. It results in another kill. God, that reality rift range is insane. It pulls him all the way in. The bolt comes out and... Silencer, he is definitely dead. Who gets the last hit? It will be Stanking. Playing the Ancient Apparition right there. So that reality rift, though, man. It's nuts. It's big now, it can it. be fogged. It's very similar to Spirit Breaker in that aspect. That if you can juke around trees, it's really hard to get off. It's going to prove very, very difficult. <laughs> Look at this. There's, Mumian is trying to bait out something here with the illusion. But it got pinged out. Something tells me they, they know. <laughs> They're like, I mean, Mumian are... Oh, oh my god, never mind. <laughs> they did think it was real. Flame Guard ended though. Caught Ember Spirit, and you're right, Flame Guard just ended right there. Now Hobbit's in trouble, he goes in before the burst himself, but it's not enough for the kill. Initially, he goes down, they do eventually get Zanking taken out. That's what you have to do against CK. If he has too strong of a supporting cast, and he absolutely does in the Zanking AA, you can't even try to contest him. Now that he's isolated and alone though, once AA shows down here, which they're gonna get a kill on Mason because of it, this will open up a chance that they could pressure the CK. Uh, Puck gets picked up in the middle lane. Meanwhile, dude up here, he's gonna be buying the gloves, a paste from the side shop. So, going the hand of Midas. Um, hold that thought, because actually top lane, Mason, MSS, excuse me, could be in some trouble. Real strike follow up right there. He mangles up, though, skewers away. He took Flea for a ride though with him, and ends up being the death of Magnus right there. Good job by Flea positioning himself really. They also pick off Moomianer. Mason trying to get a turn kill out of this. Gonna get the heal. He can. Snaking, though. Another stun in two more seconds. Gonna be ruptured off. Mason keeps on running. There's a TP. And they do not have a stopper for it. So Chaos Knight making the right decision to get out there. Yeah. Just getting six off that kill made it very, very scary all of a sudden for VGJ. Good thing they had TP. The hand of Midas on Lycan. Do you like it? It's fine. I mean, I think they could just go something more aggressive on him, even drums or uh, many other items, but they also have sneaking just running train on this game right now, which yeah. is giving Lycan a ton of free time. You see right there a couple of kills. Ember Spirit comes in. That flame guard is not ready, though. This is a pretty bold move on his part. Of course, Hastrin helps that. Means it's up a lot more often. The cooldown drops drastically, and it's also the lowest mana cost, but it means your stun is very short. Oh, oh can they do it? Yep. Stanking connected. Man, quite a ways off Blink Tiger. Like, yeah. it's, it's a very synergistic combo. You want to be able to global right after RP. Okay, this they are really going deep for this. This might backfire, maybe not. Ah, but actually gets stunned out now. As he was coming over to help the cold feet procs, actually. The ice splash in the face. Out comes the RP from MSS, but it does not save Abed. He goes down as well as a result. Moomeander, at least far enough to stay alive, I guess. But Nightstalker <laughs> joins the fray. And gives him the triple kill in the end. Stanking got denied by Neutral Creeps. That Burl Strike, though, man. Flea out of range. It doesn't matter. They just dive into the base. An ultra kill. And of course, Buck ports into the shrine, though. Not going to catch Abe. They will catch Moomiander, though. And that'll be a free kill, at least. That new Yule's showing off its work. MSS, he's... It seems like DC is going to really be relying on a big RP from MSS here. I'm loving this. Flea's looking to cancel a TP or two. Yeah, this is gonna punish. Mason, he's gonna end up going down for this blood right. Not gonna save him there. Meanwhile, Abed was able to get a pick off over here. He uses mass remnant spam. Bulba. See a ice blast coming on through actually. But he's gonna hit one creep. No hero in the area. I want to fight though, Snake King. He almost got the reality ripped off. There's that fade to black though, but the stun in from Sand King as the global science comes out of return, however. Sand King falling off, so they couldn't really follow up the best, but Puck comes up with the Dream Coil, locking down Blood Seeker <laughs> right here as they do get the pick off on a Magnus, so no RP coming out from him. Reality Rift to finish off the job on a Blood Seeker. And now Abed making his overwhelming. Yep. Yeah, he has a hand of Midas. That's like, if you look at his inventory, that's essentially what he has right now. <laughs> As they find Abed. Okay. I thought that might have been like... Risk of ruin with that uh, RP just gets worse and worse. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Mason. Just trying to find any kind of farm. The Ice Blast even is going to connect. And 
He just can't get anything. One fight. Throw on somebody else. Throw on the Chaos Knight. Throw on the Lycan in the front lines there. Oh, oh this is boy. interesting. <laughs> we found Puck. Get him. Puck found us. <laughs> Hill right now, honestly. With this new Reaver on Chaos Knight and the Aegis, yeah, there is yeah. nothing stopping them here. Yeah, exactly. There's no threat of initiation, really. Although Snake, as I say that, Lotus Orb is put on him. It's fine. That's true. Like, it's, it feels wasteful, but if you crack this T3, then you open Shrines up, and the rest of the game seems like it'll play itself out a little bit. So we're going to silence him. He still he has that armlet. They do take out Tier 3, though. They might be happy with that. Looks like they are. But DC is not falling for it. This might be a touch ambitious. There we go. He has RP, by the way. There's a jump in with the Waning Rift Suns as well. The Blood Rite put down. Global Science on top of that. Lycan is going to get picked off, actually. Chaos Knight, he's fighting, though. Again, he still has that Aegis. Mason going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Will win that battle eventually with some team support. MSS still has the RP, by the way. He might end up using it right here, perhaps. In the back lines, Sand King, the epicenter, he couldn't actually get in. Something stopped him. And they end up losing to AA. Now Snake King, he is forced to fight right here in the face. Lotus Orb is stopped, though. He just drops MSS on the Magnus. Lotus Orb reflecting something as well. Dream Quail will snap on a Night Stalker. He goes down the blow up on a Chaos Knight, though, from Abed. So at least Chaos Knight's picked off, as is the Sand King. That's a double kill for Abed right there on the Ember Spirit. And the phase shift away from 747 to get the hell on out. He was seen there, and the pinks came out immediately, but... Did a good job of turning back. Moon Meander, not turning back, though. That's a big kill. Now there's no Fury Global, no buybacks. He's farming for that. That's definitely the key, but... Look at Bulba just charging on in. Just wants to, wanted to say hi to his friends. It wasn't quite as funny as Puck blinking into... I mean, Night Stalker seems like a good candidate. Hey, Night Stalker. He goes in right there. Blood Rite comes out though with the Global Science, so it's not going to be a kill. No crits really coming out. Chaos Knight does not have that BKB, and actually he is melting away right here. He goes down. He's dead for 70 seconds. They did pick off Silencer as well as Magnus, but Magnus buys back even. And this Dire Side, they definitely want to fight now. Again, they still have our trying to pursue somebody. Goes for the Searing Chains, unfortunately, out of range. Stan King, keeping his distance, puts on another Ice Vortex. Remember, that increases the speed. Now, nice Lotus Orb Purge. Keeping him alive in there at the Shrine. That's a dangerous spot to fight. They reflected the Lotus Orb right there. Bulba has a Glimmer Cape on a Sand King. He'll be fine. AA, though, not so oh, fun. Oh. In comes the RP now. That was a burst on a Bloodseeker right before that, though, with the Dagon that you heard right there. Out comes the Epicenter now from Flea. So the RP, unfortunately, not resulting in much. And Lycan goes Shapeshift, but it gets rooted up right as he does. One of them chase somebody here. Chase down. It's just so away at the tier three. Yeah, there's just so little that DC can do about this. And it's going to die. There you go. So tier three is dead. Yeah, you can't really blame the noise we pointed out. It's no doubt. I mean, he could easily kill Silencer. Can they kill uh, you know, others here? So, in the one shot status. Okay, Chaos Knight has enough. Well, just about for his uh, BKB. He's going in, actually. <laughs> oh my god. The meander deleted from the game. And here we go. Remember, Aegis is still up as well. The Reality Rift pulls in right there on a Bloodseeker. He is staying dead for 70 seconds. No buyback. Dream Quail locking down MSS. Still no RP, really, this game that has had high impact. And unfortunately, won't get the chance right here. Ember Spirit also going to get caught out. It's just too much firepower on the side of EGJ Storm. Abed does actually get the kill on the Chaos Knight, but of course the Aegis brings him right back up. So Abed buys back, trying for a last-ditch effort right here. It's just him and Night Stalker, though. Lycan is pretty low. Jeez. Actually still has his BKB. Okay, there's the cheese, yeah. Never mind, not so low anymore. <laughs> Man, yeah, this Dagon 5 e blade actually came up super fast from Puck. This is just backbreaking. There's no way that DC can even look at this Puck right now without dying. Global silence. <laughs> and I couldn't do anything. Seems like BGJ Storm on their way to a 2 1 victory right here. I mean, DC's not giving up, but there's just really no win condition for them at this point, it seems like. Abed just sitting on the outskirts, toying with them. Night Stalker gets picked off, though. And Epicenter actually being channeled out by Flay. He really wants to finish this. Not going to catch it. Just goes into the towers. Style points. Those down. Style points, indeed. So Mega Creeps have spawned. And the Dyer's next opponent will be VGJ Storm. 
As DC gonna go down the loosest bracket here, most likely. I mean, okay, well, here we go. They, they land a big combo there, but then Phantasm happens. GG, well played. It's official. Well, good showing out of BGJ overall. A little sloppy at key points, but uh, managing to play it and squeeze out this DC squad. I mean, finishing this game up 30,000 gold.